Hello. Hi. How's Friday? Hi, Ria. Hi, Zan. Hi, Darth Luff. <laughs> I'm slow at typing because my hands are full of burger. We love that for you. I hope that the burger is very tasty. And yes, Ria, I'm so sorry that you've been feeling migraine painkiller poorly. That sucks, and I hope that it goes away over the weekend. I wish my hands were full of burger. Same. Huh. Burger envy. <laughs> it's like gender envy, only more hungry. Friday's rainy. Oh, good for you. Friday is... Um... <laughs> Wow, that sounded bitchy, okay. No, um, suddenly today was like 10 degrees warmer than the entire last three weeks. So this morning, like I put on a really cute outfit and I was like, you know, like a blouse and a gilet and some nice trousers. And I was like, oh yeah, this is great. And then I checked the weather and I was like, oh, today's the day where it gets like up to 30 again. Okay, so I took all of that off <laughs> over lunch because I was, uh, I was getting too warm. And I'm wearing this, which is exactly one item of clothing. No, it's not 10 Celsius right now. It's 30 Celsius, but it's 10 Celsius hotter than it's been the entire past month, basically. 30? We got like maybe 20-ish. Yeah, Bremen got hot today. Uh, hold up, but apparently it's just today and then over the weekend it's going to cool down a little bit again. That's what I meant. Okay, good. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't sure whether I'd just like skip words, which does happen. So I wouldn't have, I was not surprised. Hi, Kitty. Yes, hello, my child. Uh, hi, Grumble. It's work on Baldur's Gate 3 and nothing in between. Nice. It warmed up here too. 20 C, so not actually bad, but I'm whiny. You're allowed to be. You're allowed to be. Migraines suck. Hi, Kitty. Yeah, and I, ha I had to do a ton of like actual day job work today, so I was like, uh, I was suffering. I was suffering, but now it's the weekend, and we are, we have like two days of freedom. Yay! Hi, baby. Yes, I know. Look, and there's your treat. Well, to be fair, the increased warmth plus feeling ill all day is actually unpleasant. It is. It sucks. Oh, it's like any weather fluctuations when you're not feeling well. What? Hi, Donna. Yeah, there she is. Yes. Yes, kitty baby. Oh, whoops. We're just hitting everything today. That's fine. It's like 29 here this morning, and then it got super humid, and now it's raining, so it's not all bad. Oh. Ooh, 29 is humid, though. That's, that's a great combination, isn't it? But yeah, it's really humid here as well, because it's been raining so much, so the ground is just, like, soaked through. Tributes, but no careless whisperings. No, for Indie Friday, I tend to turn those off. Uh, cause like, like it's o it's like it's okay if we butcher Mass Effect with like careless whispers and nine to fives, but with like with indie games, I I, I kind of feel bad. <laughs> it's like no, we're we're here to actually play this game. Come here, kitty. Yeah, there you go. I was so excited to go to the park this morning and instead I've been in bed for nine hours, lol. Oh, I'm sorry. That sucks. <sighs> but yeah, it's, it's real humid. Um, Which doesn't help with the warmth. No, it doesn't. I'm glad I didn't have to go anywhere earlier. No. I'm hoping it won't be quite so humid because tomorrow I have errands to run. Okay, I need to go get... I know, I need to go get cat litter and cat food and I have a package to drop off. But I mean, it's okay. If I soak all my clothes through with sweat, I can just go and take a shower. <laughs> so it's not so bad. Donut, please don't sit on the thing. Thank you. Package, yes. Hi, kitty baby. I know. It's like 22 now and hopefully there may be thunder later. Oh, <gasps> thunder? Yeah, I hope so. Don't know why. Why? Why you lick arm? Oh. You okay? That reminds me, I have laundry. Go 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 go. Get your laundry. Hi kitty. Get that laundry in before. 
for drains. You know us too well. Yes, I do. I get the baby she craveth the salt. Listen, she's not a goat. Yeah. Come here, lie down. And take your butt out of my water glass for fuck's sake. Oh, it's not out. I have to put it in the machine. Maybe later, though. Oh, okay. That's... That's less of a potential problem, then. Okay. Oh, no, wait. That, that pressed a button. I'm just having to... <laughs> Donna bleats! <laughs> yeah, there she goes. So what's today's game, anyway? Today's game uh, is called Venba. Um, and it's about uh, a family... Uh, they, uh, well, the main character is called Venba. Uh, she emigrates with her family from India to, uh, to Canada. Um, they're from, they're from the Tamil culture. And, yeah, this, this game is about, uh, basically recovering family recipes. Um, cause, like, for Venba, like, her love language is cooking for people. Um, and like she and her husband are, you know, dealing with uh, like basically moving across the globe. Um, and they have a young son. Uh, and yeah, like they, they do their best to like keep him connected to their culture. And for Venba, that comes through cooking. Um, but as I understand it, the recipes are, are a bit borked and you need to figure out how to fix them. Uh, cause like, I think in the, I think on the steam page, it said like the, the recipes aren't working out. So <laughs> it's difficult. Hi Katie baby. So that is, that is what we're doing. That's what the game is about. It's really cute, and it's got a it's got a lovely soundtrack. Uh, let me know if okay, that may be a little maybe a little loud. Let me check options. Like, look. Oh yeah, we do you want that? I'll just take the take the music down a little bit and take SFX a little bit. I should make some food thinking about it now. Once again, I'm running on snacks and monster. Yeah, that's not healthy. Seems like a good vibe for diaspora like me. Revenue is really cute. Yeah, so adorable. I have, I have not, like, aside from checking that everything works, uh, I've not touched it. So I know nothing. Hi, kitty baby. But yeah, like, the, uh, the art style is super cute. Like, I saw the, I saw a teaser uh, at Summer Games Fest, like, not this year, but last year. And I was like, okay, I must put this on my wish list. And I must keep an eye on it and I must play it when it comes out. And here it is. I'd intended to be making paprika handle right now, but intensive cooking was not happening. No, no, and paprika handle is a lot. Would have been nice to be cooking alongside stream though. Yeah, that would have been sweet. Excellent. Hi, kitty baby. Think well before you dare, and never ruminate once in action. Hmm. Oh, that's us. Leaving already? Oh, sorry, did I wake you? What time is it? Eight. Oh boy. How are you feeling? I love the art style. Yeah. Like, um, like this and uh, a little to the left, like with the, with the hand-drawn quality of it are very like of a piece. Okay. Are we tired or are we nauseous? I'm going with tired. Just like yesterday. Ah, we 
not been sleeping well, have we? Okay, I'll call your school and say you can't come in today. I was just about to leave for work. You should go back to sleep. What about your lunch? There's some uh, leftover Eatly batter and garlic chutney from yesterday. Oh, I did have dinner, but this game is going to make me hungry. You can steam some quickly. I don't know if I can figure all that out. It's okay. I was just about to leave. It's just Eatly. It's very easy. It'll take me too long, Venba. Don't worry. Oh, you can buddy you cannot just survive on the coffee machine it's not good for you <sighs> one can survive on the coffee machine not well I mean we could say fine I'll make it then but no if he wants to starve <laughs> he can starve No, it's okay. Ben, but really, it's fine. One can, but one should not. Exactly. No, no, no. Oh, are, are we making it now anyway? Fine. I need to make lunch for myself anyway. Okay, this is true. Just tell the school. I'll be done in a minute. Okay. but you're tired let's get this done fast i don't know the controls although should i try my mother's recipe for once i make it so never as soft as hers and they would always cheer me up when i'm feeling sick should just make them her way today Okay. Ah, uh, something happened to the recipe book. If it's still readable. Heck yeah, turn up radio. Okay. I love the soundtrack. I haven't... I've only heard bits of it in the uh, uh, like in trailers and stuff, um, but I'm very much looking forward to um, uh, to listening to the soundtrack proper after I've played it a little bit. Okay, so tools: idli plate, towel, cooker, ingredients: water in the batter, uh, holes to let steam through. These also have holes so batter can cook. Those are the smaller ones. Oh, make sure to like, leak. Do we need to plug them? Arrange plates so steam can cook batter properly. Okay. Did you play the demo or am I thinking of someone else? I didn't. I didn't. I was I was going to. Uh, but then it wasn't available anymore. Um, but no, I haven't. I've not made it with these kinds of plates before. The only difference from mine seems to be the holes on the plates. The recipe also calls for towels. I'm not sure why. Or maybe line them. Yeah, maybe. Adama swears this method makes the EDs a lot softer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you probably should line them and then line up like the the plates and the divots so that uh, the steam comes up through the larger holes and then can cook the batter through the lining. Okay. So we probably need to... Hmm. 
Okay, so you can ask for hints that way. That's cool. That's the lid. Okay. Do I need to put a plate in first? batter there okay water in first okay and then the batter in the thing okay can I put a towel in yet no all right let's put one plate in can I put a towel in There's several plates. Okay, you can turn that. Hold on, let's arrange that. Okay. That turns the entire thing. Okay. I'm not sure where the towels come in. Okay, that's the third plate. Or, hmm. Hold on. Let's let's reverse. Ah, you can reset the whole thing. That's great. Okay. The water in. Do I maybe? Ah, this way. Now we're cooking. There we go. Oh, whoops, it is. lid. Does it say anything about heat? Mm. No, so probably real hot. Eh? Let's see how it turns out. Should be long enough. Okay, lid off. Only the bottom plate cooked. Oh, not enough water in? The steam from the... Ah. Okay. Okay, so I need to orient them. It's a steamer. It really can't go above 10 100 C anyway. Fair. Okay. Boop. Okay, so I need to try... Like when I turned... It. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, maybe I wasn't turning the... Only the plates the other time. I was probably turning the middle bit. Yes, but the plate now. Would the steam holes of the bottom plate actually cook the batter of the top plate? Maybe I can rotate the plate in the cooker to align the steam holes better. Okay, so like this then. So now they're oriented like that. And then do to add the plate now. Let me... Yep, but... Can I rotate it while it sits there? Yes, 
I know, but you need to let me put it into the pot for me to rotate it. Because right now these holes let steam through there. Yeah, because now it's rotating the entire thing. So maybe I just need to do it like that again? Okay. That worked. soft. Oh, look at them, look cute! No! You even took the time to make our faces, yeah! Yeah, sorry chat, I was, I was not looking at anything you were saying because I wanted to figure it out myself. <laughs> They're happy to see you, yeah! I think you forgot about my beard, though. Listen. Listen. Really didn't have to do this. No, but you were gonna starve next to the coffee machine. <laughs> what else could I do? My husband can't figure out Idlis. And I told you to go to sleep. You've been feeling sick and exhausted. I didn't have to cook. It's not a big deal if I skipped lunch once. Pavilion. <laughs> Pavilion, light on my life. <laughs> You're making me choose between resting and letting you starve. That's not a fair choice to me. Yes, Benba. Yes. <laughs> hey, are the straights okay? No. You're not letting me starve. No, you're letting yourself starve. I know, but that's what it feels like. Exactly. She feels responsible even if she isn't. Because I was fully prepared to just be like, yeah, well, you're going to scar. You're going to starve today, buddy. That's... There you go. But no. And even if I had let you leave... I couldn't sleep peacefully. Or what will I do for lunch? Which is a fair question. That's a him problem. Exactly. But yeah, no. She probably wouldn't have slept well anyway. I'd feel too guilty. No, that's not what I meant. You're too sick. I, sh I know you sh I know I shouldn't, but you know I would. Is it so hard for you to cook even on days like this? Got nothing to say for himself, does he? You're right. Sorry. Thank you. Girl, his refusal to cook for himself is not your problem. Go to bed. <laughs> Did you look for tickets back home? Yes, it's expensive, but we can manage it. So... Do you think we should go? I don't know. Let me ask the boss again if he can make me full-time. But unless the school gives you more shifts... Or my boss changes his mind. It's going to be tough to stay in Canada. You know there are other options, but... I wouldn't mind going back. I'm sure I can teach again at my old job. And there's nothing really keeping us here. That would be nice. Okay, well, why don't you leave with me now? I'll walk you to the doctor's office before I go to work. Oh no, I'm sure all I need is some sleep. Then bah. You've been saying that for two days. Come on, I'll walk you. 
Doctors are free. <laughs> Doctors are free here. Yes. Take take advantage of the public healthcare system. Oh, she's doing better. you home what did the doctor say so the boss didn't even consider it okay let's kill him unless a miracle happens I say we start packing what what's with you oh boy have you got another thing coming you never told me what the doctor said well I think you should eat first uh, okay. At least again? D bro. Do you not... D don't you start complaining. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Listen. You'll take what you're getting and you're gonna like it. What's gotten into you today? Look at him. <laughs> That's feckin' adorable. So, I guess this means we have a reason to stay. I mean, raising a child back home wouldn't be so bad either. But there's a chance at a very different life here. It's only going to get more expensive though, and we're barely scraping by as it is. Can't provide everything other parents would be able to. What if they resent us for that when they grow up? Oh, buddy! Maybe moving back to India is the best option after all. But then they could resent us for taking away this opportunity! Oh. He is just. He is. He is overthinking! Like he's. He's off! What do you think, Venba? I think, honestly, Venba may have already fallen asleep. Why aren't she saying anything? Possibly because she's asleep? Oh no, she's fine. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's funny to see you worry like this. <laughs> At least one of you is having a good time. Are you not worried? I don't know. I feel very calm for some reason. I was gonna say, Venba's really chill. That means one of us. Avalon, don't worry. I'm sure they will turn out just fine. How can you be so sure? It's our child. What else could they turn out? That's confidence. Being outshone by one's children is a universally desired form of sweet defeat. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh, look at him. He's a wee snowman. My name is Pavalon, sir. Pavalon, sir. Cabin. Where's that little goofball? Where did you run off to? Sir, it would be my privilege to work with you. Pardon me, sir. I don't have time to play, Kevin. I have a lot of work to do. Uh-oh. Bro is barely six years old and already in trouble. Yes, sir, I've managed to transport hundreds of units of inventory per day. Pardon me, sir. There you are. What are you wearing? Where's your shirt? a cape. Take that off. Let's get you dressed. 
No, I like it. That job was in India, sir, but... Oh, boy. Kevin, wait there. Don't run. Ah, uh, he's running. Come back here. This has become a routine now. Well, everybody needs a hobby. Yes, sir. Bachelor of Science and Physics, sir. <laughs> that towel is so dirty. Yeah, wear the shirt. No! But, sir, you can just take me on a probation period, maybe? I'm driven, self-started, and a quick learner, sir. It's good when it comes to cooking. Put this on, Kana. Hurry up now. But I don't want to! Speaking to me, you, Kevin. I can't even understand what she's saying. <sighs> Bro. Bro, don't... I understand, sir. Don't work for free! Kid, put your... Good boy! There you go. Put your shirt on. Okay. Thank you, sir. Oh, boy. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for considering me. Oh. I mean, so much for a thing fuck it set in Canada. Cause... Good day. Mr. Bachelor of Science, what happened? He got racism at. That's what happened. Same old. <laughs> they didn't buy the hundreds of units of inventory story. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's time for it to go. Hmm, are anyone else's messages not showing up on screen? Oh, is stuff broken? a sec. Did stuff break? That one came through. Hmm. Maybe it was maybe it was a bit dodgy for a second. Hold on. Twitch is just depressing me for being too funny. Yeah, I couldn't uh uh like I, I didn't see any messages either. Like they didn't they didn't come out on screen, but I also didn't see them. Like, chat has been basically quiet for five minutes. So, Twitch is just... Let me just reset that. Twitch is just oppressing all of us. I've typed a bunch of stuff that didn't appear. Oh, I'm sorry. Twitch. Yeah, but I can I can see it now again now too. That's odd. Okay. Well at least if you're still seeing your, your messages in the chat unless you've refreshed, you you can copy and paste. <laughs> Go with this one. They didn't buy the hundreds of units of inventory story. Twitch chat is super glitchy lately. If no one says anything for a while, I keep coming back to a screen full of welcome to the chat room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been doing that. It's been doing that. It's not entirely untrue. Hmm. I helped out in a grocery store. Fair. Sadly, I can't copy and paste. I reload it and it all vanished. Oh, oh that's annoying. I'm sorry. Sadly, I can't like I can't do anything about glitchy Twitch chat on my end either because it's like it's basically like the Twitch chat I see. Um, it's just like you know the the chat uh, in a web wrapper like in OBS. So I can't really do anything about it. Let me see if I. Mm, no, because Mix It Up has a little chat thing, but it, they don't show up in there either. 
no worries. It's not like it's your fault. No, but I feel bad anyway. <laughs> hey, look, Van Van and I have something in common. It's not our fault, but we feel bad anyway. <laughs> but at least you're not refusing to fix things. Mine weren't funny enough to repeat, lol. Ow. I'm sure that's not true. Oh, it's relatable to bitch. Yeah. Okay. I helped out in a grocery store when I was 12. Oh, they don't have to know that. And you were Peyton Candy. That's good currency. Rhea, you're always funny enough to repeat. There you go. Zan is correct. Ah, uh, well, I've only worked as a writer back home. I don't see myself getting a job for that here. Not with my English. I spend half these calls asking to asking them to repeat themselves. Couldn't I mean I mean yeah, this is the nineties, so it wouldn't be as easy to like or well it wouldn't be easy at all to do freelance for publications back home. Oh, you're sweet, lol. Yeah. Sun is very sweet. I should watch cartoons. If I can understand those shows. Maybe I can understand these people too. A good measure. Yay! We can watch Batman together, Appa. Yes, but your son is going to forget Tamil at this rate. Did you know his friends call him Kevin? What's wrong with that? Speaking to Milda. Well, what's wrong with that? It's only one letter that's different anyways. <laughs> that's why we picked it. No, names tell stories. It's a way for people to learn about you and where you're from. You shouldn't be afraid to correct your friends. It's your name. Who else is going to tell them? And Kevin means beautiful. It's such a lovely name and it suits you so well. I don't... Aw, kid. I don't want to be beautiful. I just want to be Kevin. Yeah, you're laughing. He's brighter than us, Venba. No. He's learned to adapt. We haven't. Oh. You know he aced yesterday's English quiz? He did? Really? <laughs> Don't be so shocked. Good job. We should celebrate. What do you want to eat? Make something special. Unintentional meta commentary from the subtitles calling him Kelvin and Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Can we order pizza? Speaking to me. I want pizza. How about we make something at home? Because if we call it something better, then he's just going to get defensive. Learning to adapt by trying to be a white people isn't ideal in my experience. No, exactly. Like parata, dosa, idiapa, ghee dosa, biryani, curry dosa. No, I'm tired of all these. I said, I want pizza. Extra cheese. Extra toppings. I eat pizza all the time. Kevin, have you ever had puto? No. What's up? Well, I've only seen my mother make it before. It's a lot of fun to make. Reminds me of a rocket. Oh. Rocket? Yes, a lot of steam comes out when you make it. Ah. Looks just like a rocket launching. It does? Yes. Do you know what? Let's just order pizza. No. There's no rocket, but you get a nice cardboard box. I mean, you can... I guess you can make a rocket out of the box. Hmm. Did it really look like a rocket launch? Hmm. Yeah, do you want to see? She's got him, she's got him boys. I've made this before, but Amma has a recipe on it. Hopefully it's readable. Where's the rocket? We need to make the flower first. Okay.
Okay, what does the book say? Okay. 500 grams of rice. I need water. We need to blend the rice first. Then separate fine rice, uh, fine rice from chunks. That's what the sieve is for. And then third step, we don't know. And then fourth step, combine 500 grams of fine rice with water. Okay. When do we get to the rocket part? Soon, be patient. Okay, so, so rice in the blender. Blend. Okay, there it is. The Okay. Something, something chunks over. Yeah, I can't decide for that even if I tried. Okay, well, recipe says adding flour to the rice is the final step. Do you think this is right? Mm, no, this is way too runny. Okay, so must have added less than 500 grams of rice. Need to find a way to use all of it. Okay, so we need to do something with the chunks. Maybe we can. Oh, maybe we can blender the chunks again. Surely that'll work. Into the sieve. Shake, 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 shake. Okay. Blender. Yeah. Okay, so we just do this. Bunch more times. feel like the flour even though there is so much water. I have to mix the water and flour little by little. The final consistency should feel like slightly wet sand. Alright, that wasn't too hard. Amma, when will we get to the rocket? In a bit, probably. Okay, a little sieve thing went in that thing. Oh boy! Okay, so we got flour that we just made, and we've got coconut. Put coconut layers as far from each other as possible. So we have water in the bottom. And then. So this would be three tablespoons of coconut, and then tablespoons of flour and then coconut again and then flour and then coconut again I hope this is straightforward so you say assemble the parts so that water steams and cooks what's above the tricky part is figuring out how much rice and coconut is needed and in what order coconut can crumble easily okay so this bit first and then we add the water it's a mold and it's got holes on the bottom Okay. okay, so let's start with coconuts. One, two. Oh no, wait, if we. I think it goes by color. 
Uh, see, because that's more orange. Oh, that's not three tablespoons at a time. That's in a whole. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not looking at chat, by the way. This is the right way around. It's lunchtime. Oh. Wrong way around. <laughs> Launch a crumbling. Okay. So I was going I was going by color of the of the layers. Um because like the the coconut is uh, is white and the putu was was orange, but that was possibly a red hair. So we'll start with coconut, and we've got one, two, and three of this, and one and two, and three of this. I'll try again. <laughs> Yay! That's so cool. When I can't believe it didn't fall. Physics. Well, chemistry. Can I do that again? Yay! That looks delicious. Now, we are unable to offer you our secondary teacher position at this time. However, we encourage you to play again next year. Uh. Is he asleep? Probably. I'm on a hunt for English grocery stores for shredded coconut. I can only find desiccated, and that's simply the wrong consistency for things I want to bake. God damn it. I know you won't see this, lol. Nope, I wasn't looking. <laughs> Rapid, Rapid on schedule disassembly. Yeah! The breaking maneuver. Oh, it's one of those letters. Ouch. Yep. I think so. Cabin? Yes, he is. Or he's very good at pretending, so. Good. So, that interview. Another dead end. Yep. I think I knew that before I took the call. No relevant Canadian work experience. Yeah, because no one will give him relevant Canadian work experience. God fucking damn it. We'll keep you on file. Mm. I don't know. I feel like I deluded us into thinking we can make it work here. Well, don't worry. I'll go to the employment office again tomorrow. What? I know you don't like Suresh. I think you should take that sales job at his company. Oish. It's all about who you know here. Mm-hmm. We really are at the end of our rope. I mean, both of those are true. Both of those are true. Far too relatable. Ha ha ha. Far too relatable. It's like, yay. We're having a fun time. It is all about who you know here. Nepotism, baby! And we barely know anyone. And we're not in a position to pick and choose our help. I thought moving here would be a chance to start over. And even here, we still have to beg people like Suresh. It's not begging. I know. 
I'll call him tomorrow. Thank you. But honestly, I think you're more qualified for sales than I am. I mean, the way you sold Kevin on the butcher today, you're really good with kids. Yeah, that's why she's a teacher, mate. Not a sales agent, not a sales agent. I can't believe you're having a hard time teaching in school. She's not having a hard time teaching in school. She's having a hard time getting a job. I had to fill out a gap in employment form for my new job, and it was like, it took them 18 months to process my visa, which gave me the right to work. Hope this helps. I hope. Well, it's not like teaching back home. Makes me worry about Calvin. Why? Well, back home, I could get the class to laugh, open up. Get them in the mood to learn, you know? But it's harder here. What does that have to do with Calvin? I just feel like there's a wall between me and my class. Can't connect with them. They lead very different lives than we did. And I feel that same wall growing around Kevin. What do you mean? What if I can't connect with him? It just feels like he's growing further away from us. The other day he told me he wished he had his own room, like his friends. He said he needs his privacy. What five-year-old needs privacy? <laughs> Gap in employment form. I signed an NDA and can't reveal this information on a matter of national security. And me with being an immigrant, I, <laughs> I'm sure they'd love to say that. Yep. Can you even imagine asking for something like that when you were a kid? It's like he's in a different world than us. Well, it's more than just that. He's not interested in anything we do. I thought I could at least get him to listen to music or watch some movies from back home. But he'd rather watch Home Alone for the hundredth time. I don't know, I'm worried. These things bother me too. But we chose to bring him up here, not him. Oh, but we chose to bring him up here, not him. We did it because we thought he'd have a better life here. And he does. This place comes with better education and opportunities. But it also comes with its own culture, language, values. We can't pick and choose the ones we want and ask him to ignore from the others. I think it's natural that any kid wants to fit in, right? Yes, maybe. It's just scary. Don't worry. We'll turn out just fine. Are you so sure? He's our child. Who else will he turn out? Aw, oh, that's a lovely mirror of, of the earlier scene. Those fallen from their resolve are stripped of respect, like hair fallen from the head. Love a good callback. Yeah, that was very satisfying. Go on. Oh no, are you making the child do phone calls? <laughs> Tell her. Oh dear. His name is Pavlon. He's my dad. P A A. B A L A N. She says Appa is not at the office. Does she know what time he left? Do you know when my dad left the office? Nope. Okay, well, does she at least know if he came in today? Did you see my dad today? Yes. I ask her if he usually leaves with anybody. I'm worried, me too. Maybe we can call them? Does he usually go home with someone? She says no, dad usually leaves alone and he's very quiet. She says all the sales staff left at 5pm today. She 
says he must have left then, too. Okay, thank you. Where is he? Why are we walking through the park, Emma? Do you think Appa will be here? I don't know, Kana. Sometimes your Appa loves to walk instead of taking the bus. If you decided to walk home from the office, it should be through here. But the lady Appa said left at five. I had the bait. But the lady said Appa left at five. What's taking him so long? I think he went somewhere else first. I mean, I'm hoping that he's just sitting on a park bench, having a wee think about life. But where would he go for this long? I don't know, Kevin, enough with your questions. Sorry, Kana, I'm just worried. Why are you worried? Do you think something happened to him at this point? Yeah! No, no, I'm sure he's fine. You don't have to stay quiet. Here, you can ask me anything you want. Anything? Yes, and I'll answer it. But, oh, only if you can ask it in Timmy. Okay? Okay, I can do that. Ahem. Okay. Okay, I can do that. Why did that lady say that Appa is very quiet? He talks a lot at home. Probably because he hates his job. Oh, look at you go! See, you can speak to me when you want to. Hmm. I don't know, maybe it's that they don't talk to him. Oh, maybe everyone's a dick. What do you mean? Ah, nothing. He doesn't really like his job. Maybe that's why. He was a writer back home, right? Did he like his job then? Yes, he loved to write. How come I never see him write at home? Oh, he always writes and something bothers him. Back home, that used to be every day. <laughs> well, he used to write every day when people got on his nut. People are assholes, kid. You know, that about sums it up. Maybe you should bug him more. Yeah, get on his nerves and let's start writing. Ooh, questions. Oh yeah, let's let's get the lore. I want the lore. How did you and Appa meet? Hmm. You know I'm named after a type of poem, right? Yes. Appa told me a venba is kind of like a haiku. The private school where I was teaching was treating both staff and students terribly. No proper equipment or rooms and horrible pay, so we organized a protest. Lore dump, lore dump. We had signs and boards at dozens of people. One day, we were told a reporter wanted to interview us. We thought this was a big break. But he was the shabby... <laughs> That's that, isn't it? <laughs> but he was the shabbiest person I'd ever seen. He looked like he'd just woken up. Was it Appa? Yep. Oh, boy. And still, she married him. Still answered all his questions and hoped for the best. A week later, we all read the article that came out in the magazine. Oh... But it wasn't an article. It was, a, hmm, was it a poem or a story? <laughs> Gives hope to a big scruff like me. <laughs> hmm, let's ask if it was a poem. Was it a poem? It was a Venba, a gorgeous one too. It was about the school, the students, our protest. And it was about me, aww. Venba has confirmed she has a type and that time is raccoon affectionate. Somehow people could ignore our protest, but they couldn't ignore the poem. It received a lot of attention and as a result, so did our protest. The school was forced to change. And I was smitten. Damn, that was smooth. Yeah, holy shit. Why did you move here? 
It wasn't an easy choice. Avalon wanted to be with me. And I couldn't imagine being with anyone else. But a lot of people took issue with us being together. And they decided to make it our problem. It was getting really hard to deal with it. So we gambled on a fresh start here and took it. Okay. Oh, I don't think he's okay. Please tell me he's upright. Mugged. Oh, maybe he did. Buddy, you can't just be sitting there for hours. He's at least alive, yeah. Okay, I take it it's bothering him enough to write. Oh. That was a fucking stressful game. Nothing, no matter how dear, should be sought at the expense of one's honor. Aww, look at him! He's all grown up! Okay, I just finished cutting up the onions too. I think you should have everything you need. Yes, thanks, Pa. I'll grab Kevin back. I did remember from the trailer that he has amazing hair. Okay. Oh, well, we got nothing. <laughs> We, we got absolutely sweet fuck all. Airbnb is really fancy. I've never made it that way before. But I've seen Ama make it the night before we left India. Cookies! Hi, Mango! Hi! I'm keeping quiet. <laughs> good luck! Step one, good luck. <laughs> yeah, this recipe is not there. It does not exist. Knowing how to make biryani feels too much like meta gaming. Hi guys! Hey Mango, how you doing? Now I can try remembering them. Okay, well we have a reset button. I was just about to ask you if you know this one's hand. <laughs> ah, inside your secrets. Yes. Okay, so we've got frying oil. Um, what's that? Is that water? Okay, and we've got uh, individual reset ones as well. Okay, that's good. Remember. Oh, that's that's the hint bits. Okay, add all these first. These ingredients. So expensive. Um, why are you going for all this trouble? It's okay. It's a big thing to leave another country. Oh, that's the memory. <gasps> that's the memory. The colorful ingredients look so delightful. They do. Okay. So cloves go in there, and bay leaves, and fennel seeds. Oh, that is, the, the foley is so good. Hold on, let me turn that down a little bit. Have all the hints been memories? It's so cute, yeah. Gotta play it again on my own time. OK, 
Okay, so these, I would say, come later. Okay, that's water, that's onions, chilies, tomatoes. There's a logic to the order you add these four ingredients in. Oh god, logic. Huh. Don't forget the cardamom. Uh, you want all of them to fry in the oil nicely, but... The ingredient you add first will always fry more in the oil than the next one. Yes. Alright, so if I want onions to turn golden brown, they need to be fried the most. And remember, once you add tomatoes, they release so much water, it's hard for anything to fry after. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Let's check the garlic paste. Let's marinate a beef. Okay, that all comes last, and then the spices last, I would say. When do you add the water? Mm, we'll see. <sighs> yeah, taste it all. Toast it all. Haha, <laughs> toasted! <laughs> Wish you could see how much these cost here. Oh boy. You would lose your mind. Alright, so onion. Is that okay? Let's let's give the onion a little bit. Let's give the onion a minute. So we got chilies. Whee! And then we got tomatoes. Okay, so they release a ton of water. Mm, question is when I add that water, I'm not sure. Maybe last? So we've got the garlic ginger paste. Let's see. Okay, now the beef goes in after we add all the salt and powders. That order is important. Then add water and let it reduce. Okay. I'm going to remember all of this. You don't. Don't worry. I've added these instructions into the recipe book I gave you. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, mom. Okay, so. I don't remember doing it this way. I must have done something wrong. Let me try again. Okay. Okay, so salt and powders. Maybe salt and salt needs to go first. Okay. Maybe the, hmm, maybe the garlic paste looks down. Maybe garlic paste first. Who knows? No, also not. Okay. Hmm. Okay, the beef goes in last. Garlic ginger paste needs to fry. Okay. Oh, so I need to... Okay. When can I... Use this to go back? No. That's fine. Okay, so... Garlic ginger paste. And then the chilies. And then the tomatoes. Although, hmm, they release a ton of... Of course, the tomatoes going last. Went through a lot of trouble. Sorry, I couldn't take better care of it. It's not your fault, Bimba. I'm fixing these now, and I hope Kevin can appreciate it when he cooks these. If he ever does. Okay, so... We've got salt. And then these guys. Wait, come here with me. Okay, and then the marinated beef. And then the water. Yeah! I think we just need to let it simmer for 30 minutes and we can start the layering. Yeah, I think Kevin's going off to college. Gravy's done. All that's left is the biryani. If I can finish it before, before carbon leaves. Oh, I meant which country. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Maybe. Maybe he's going to the US? Just over the border? Or maybe he's going back home. Who knows? Okay. 
Okay. One stun lets it in low flame. Okay, so one, two, one, two, and then three. Hmm. At least the second part is salvageable. I think the idea is to put everything in the pot, seal tightly, and let it simmer. The one, two, three might refer to the different layers of gravy, rice, and other things. But in what order? That's a good question. Okay. We just add all of these together on top of the rice layer. And that's the final layer? Yes. What's wrong, Emma? Oh, where you go? Well, we'll visit often, and once things are better, we'll come back here. This is our home, or else will we go? Oh, they never came back, did they? I know, Kana's just so far away. Oh. Okay, so... Can I scoop some? Yes, I can. Okay. Can I, can I scoop more? No, I can put it back on. Okay. Okay, so then that would be the first layer. So we have layer of rice, layer of this, layer of rice, and then the rest of it. Possibly, nobody tell me. I think this is right. I just have to cover it with a lid now. Okay. I think this is it. Just need to keep the flame very low and let it all cook. The rice will fully absorb all the moisture from the gravy, deeply flavoring it. Oh, that sounds good. I can't wait. No, neither can I. I'm hungry. Should be good now. <gasps> it looks good. Yay! Complete the recipe without messing up. Yay! <laughs> I didn't mess up once. Is it so good? Beef really is the best. She wasn't asking you. <laughs> oh, oh wow, I'm coming over. <laughs> it's really good. I won't get many chances to cook for you like this again. Ah, Emma, stop being so dramatic. I'm just moving out for university. Yes, kind of, but we'll miss you. Have you packed everything? It's a long drive. You might have to get gas on the way. Oh, as it turns out, my friends are driving there today after all. So I'll be going with them. Oh. Oh. This way you and Appa won't have to drive all day. I mean, that is very considerate of you, kid. Oh no! <laughs> Sad mother! <laughs> we wanted, yeah, we wanted to see, and we were looking forward to the drive. I mean, that might be slightly of a lie, but we did want to see the university. I thought it'd be nice to see all the classrooms and buildings. You can give us a tour. It's not a hassle at all for us to drive you. We love to. It's just more convenient. There's nothing to tour, really. Just a bunch of gray buildings. Okay, kinda sure. Did I even get any of these meat pieces, Dad? <laughs> she wanted to spend time with you, kiddo. My parents both tried to get out of having to drive me to uni, lol. <laughs> oh. Uh, maybe we can drive through next week, drop off some food. <gasps> I almost forgot. Will your friend's car have enough space for some containers? 
leftovers. Dad focusing on the important bits. Yes, the beef. Boof. I don't know why. Kid, she's not letting you go without giving you heaps of food. Please, are you not seeing the writing on the wall? I've packed a lot more of the biryani. There we go. I had to ask my parents for some emergency drive back to uni before because the storm fucked up the trains. Oh, yeah, that's happened to me. Kid, you're Asian. You know how this works. <laughs> you think? I also packed some podies, pickles, and sweets. <gasps> pickles! Did you give all the... Sir. Sir, please. Yes, of course your kid is getting all the good bits. Excuse me. Um, I can't take that in the car. Why not? A fact for your friends, too. You can all eat. Um, they don't want biryani. Well, then they're stupid. And the whole car will smell. Oh, it's that thing again. It's that thing. Where white people are shit. I don't want them in my dorm either. You don't want any of it? Kevin, I put a lot of effort into making all of it this week. I didn't ask you to, kid. Why are you getting mad? I know you didn't ask. But what would you even eat there? I don't know. They're fools. They are. It'll smell good. White people don't like food that smells good, I guess. No, white poop. White people cannot comprehend the magic of spices. Food is love. Oh my god, child. Yes, food is love. No cafeterias, instant noodles, whatever. I'll figure it out. Dad, shut up about the beef. Just eating kuska here. Yeah, and enjoy it. That's not healthy, Kevin. No, it's not. This hurts. Lol, Dad. <laughs> you can't eat out every day. Literally everyone there will be doing that. The Brits conquer the world for spices only to find out that they don't like any of them. Yep. Don't have the constitution for them. At this point, I'm kind of on the Dad's side. Yeah. Fair. <laughs> Kid. I'm just trying to be helpful. Well, you're not. Why don't you just take some of it? You don't have to eat it. I said no. Okay, kid. I'm done with this. This is a fresh start for me. I don't want to smell like little India anymore. Oh. I just want to be normal. For once. language you speak, the food you eat, the clothes you wear. Only you should decide that, Kevin. You don't have to change who you are for us. But just be sure you're not changing who you are for anyone else either. There's a wonderful and beautiful culture that's a part of you. It would be a shame if you chose not to be part of it. Just because you think it's not normal. Then why did we even move here? We should have just stayed in India. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. It's just... There's no need to create a fuss over any of this. It's not like you're never going to see me again. I'll visit often, okay? Okay. And I'll call every week too. So please try not to worry. Okay? Okay. <laughs> will you though? <laughs> Child, will you though? Child, the plis. Is that them? Yep, I think so. Who's that girl? I've never seen her before. Huh? A girl? Smart kid. This is why he didn't want us to try. <laughs> Father is like, game recognizes game. <laughs> Chip off the old black. <laughs> Smooth fucker. Oh my god, dad. I mean, he's like 18 and going off to uni. Depending on the distance, he'll be back every two weeks with laundry. Possibly. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, Pavlon, please. I suppose it's good that he's so independent. He makes his own choices. Even if they are so... Incorrect. 
love you so much. <laughs> it's like, this is my child. <laughs> He's literally wrong about everything, but I love him. Our choices were mostly made for us already. Whatever he chooses, at least it'll be his own decision. Yeah, but what if it's crap? We just have to patiently wait for him to come back to us. Until then, it's just the two of us again, huh? He's done everything wrong and I love him, exactly. Just like old times. Hug. Yes. Press X to hug wife. We encourage you to apply again next year. That was 12 years ago last time you said that. Aish. Did Kevin reach the university? Oh yeah, no cell phones, huh? Did he text or call yet? No. Well, we told him to text or call when he gets there, right? <laughs> you asked us now? <laughs> yes. Well, maybe he hasn't got... Oh, he has. I kept waiting and got worried, so I finally called him. Oh boy. Again, he is 18-ish. He just said he forgot to inform us and hurried to hang up. Ah, well, it's a big day. I'm sure he has a lot going on there. Yeah. Oh, sure, let your son do as he likes. I'm not going to bother anymore. He doesn't want to eat what we make. He doesn't want to speak in Tamil. He doesn't even want the name we gave him. I'm done chasing after him. Yes, you're right. Oh, wait. He forgot his headphones in his room. I was going to bring it to him sometime next week. But maybe we should just like, let him pick it up whenever he's there next. Oh, he did? Of course not, Pavlon. We should help if we can. He uses those headphones all the time. It'll be hard for him without that. What? Oh, you made that up. <laughs> Damn it. Is there anything more fleeting than your anger towards our son? That's what being a parent is, I suppose. Gavin said he wants to pursue writing. I was so happy. Finally, something we have in common. I wanted to show him all the works that inspired me and all the poems and stories that I love. And the ones you wrote. All the stories you read to him as a child were just ones you wrote on the spot. Yes, but how do he even remembers that? I don't even know if he can read to me literature, much less understand it. I used to wonder why he wanted to turn his back on all the unique and special things his roots have to offer. But after that night in the park? Maybe he's thinking it's better not to be unique or stand out in any way. And I don't think we can blame him for that. guess it wasn't the best decision to move. I don't get to write here. You don't get to teach here. It's hard for Calvin to be who he really wants to be. Maybe you should have stayed. If you're going to suggest, I would have been better off not moving here with you. My anger is going to be anything but fleeting. <laughs> Buddy, you finished that sentence? You're secretly sleeping on the floor. Come on. Sofa. Exactly. <laughs> Sofa if he's lucky. I don't know how much you miss home. Would you be happier back there? If I felt like I didn't have anyone, then yes, maybe I'd be happier there. But I have Kevin. And I have you. Home is where you two are. Huh. <sighs> My feelings! <laughs> Longing for those who have forsaken you diminishes the beauty of the soul. Oh, oh. oh, does that mean he... Oh, does that mean he passed? Promising quote for this section. Yep.
Okay, let's rotate. Can do. Uh, keep, keep moving. Come on. There you go. Oops. Seriously, the smells in this house. Yes. Oh, God. Like, the kitchen must be so good. Oh, I guess I can, I can take, can I take it out? Okay. I know these, but I forget what they're called. They look wonderful. Tasty spirals, pretty sure. There we go. Just wait for the last one to come up. Maybe. Okay, we're express cooking today. I guess one in each divot. Like that. Do you ever watch a game that you can actually smell? I, I am right now. Blinking's coming up. Oh, gotta turn them around. I got you, game. Let's see, who's next? I watched a scary scene while dying in a swimsuit, but that was unpleasant. <laughs> it fits, though. what the command is there because it only told me A and I'm pressing A. Game, please tell me again. Game, what was it? Ah, I have to tap it. There we go. Okay. Same there. Same there. And same there. Okay, got fish. Ooh. <laughs> no, dishonored levels are not nice to smell 
We do not need to smell those. And again, the foley is so fucking good. Okay, I got three more to go. Look away to work and look back and delicious. <laughs> Spoots! Hi! Hi, Spoots! Look how good this looks. I love how this game actually shows you how to make Indian food. Yeah! The cookbook, lol. Yeah. <gasps> FYI, there's a website I use called Trust These Recipes, which is totally worth looking at for making Indian food. Thank you, I will definitely do that. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Ah, Beans, is he visiting? I hope so. Oh. Please show up, child. Your mother made all that food. Mm. I'll cook your favorite mutton. I have a lot of plans today, but I think I can stop by later. Something came up last minute and I can't make it. No, all that food. Oh, kiddo. I mean, I understand. I understand. But also, ow. Wailing. Yeah, just motherly wailing. Who's gonna eat all that kid, huh? Oh god, in that kitchen. <laughs> That's mango, I think. <laughs> Focus on focusing on the important bits, listen to anything to distract us from the pain. Oh, he did pass away. to inform you that your application for the secondary teacher position has been accepted. Well, 
that's one silver lining. Without one's dignity, one becomes a puppet to many strings. Yay, grading! Oh, hey kid. Put that down. My mom left me a box of stuff. <laughs> Great, but just so you know, that's not usually hung outside the house. Okay, can I can I scroll? Can I look back up? Because that looked like she left me a box of stuff before it, she left, but went back to India, maybe? But I'd just like to hang it inside. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just needed something unique and interesting mm -hmm. here. By the way, for the lunch, for the school lunch scene, mm -hmm. I was thinking it'd be cool if it was like a super diverse table of kids and they're all shared mm -hmm. food from their different cultures. What do you think Priya's lunch should be? Mm -hmm. Chicken tikka? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe vin spicy vindaloo, maybe. Well, Priya's to meal, so probably none of those. Mm -hmm. What if we show her eating nothing? Like, I would bring back my lunch a lot, lol. I was too embarrassed to eat it at school. Maybe we can touch up, uh, touch upon that? Oh. That might not fit the tone of the show. Ah, oh, goddammit. Just a fun scene that celebrates different cultures and cuisines that really represents Toronto. You must have a favorite dish your mom made or something, right? Just feels weird for me to write a scene where she isn't even a bit apprehensive about the lunch. I was terrified to even open the lid. I get we're celebrating it, but a scene like this would make me feel like I was worried about nothing when I wasn't. No, don't delete it. Don't delete it, you were right to say it. Yeah, I'll check my mother's recipe book. God damn it! Oh, kiddo, speak your feelings. Yeah, because, like... I mean, obviously, Chris Kendall is, like, some white dude. And he's like, oh, it's just a fun scene that celebrates different cultures. Like, knowing nothing of the apprehension that came with Kevin's childhood. And... Uh, it's like, yeah, confronting that... I'm in two minds about this. Like, yeah. Like. And. Like, yeah, I want. Kevin to, like. Be able to write a character who can eat her lunch without apprehension, but I understand him, like, having that hanging over his head so much still that he's like I, like, I can't just write a scene where that doesn't happen. Yeah, it wouldn't be too difficult to write that in. So, like, you can have a moment where, like, even if you just show, like, Priya hesitating, maybe. Like, just, you know, in a way that, you know, for other diaspora kids... A lot of that apprehension is kind of self-imposed. I mean, sure. To a point, but I mean, he does say that, you know, like other kids just call him little, called him little India. So like, you know, the, the, the ragging on Southeast Asian kids for the smell of their food is, you know, not nothing. Like, I, I remember that a lot from, like, from, from my time in school when we had kids who were from Southeast Asia. So, like, I understand, I guess. I mean, again, like, I'm, I'm a white girl. I haven't had the, 
that experience myself. Sorry, Zan, I didn't I didn't mean to speak over you there. Um, I can how can I can understand him. No, no, it's cool. I get it. My family eats Asian, so it's not quite the same. Okay. If I have to give them a recipe, the least I can do is ensure it's authentic. Mm. That's a good start. Oh, she did go back. Okay. Looks like she's fixed a lot of these. Yeah, she did. I can't read to mill very well, but let's see. Ooh, it is. There you go. This is potu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was fun. Atlas favorite. If she gets the beef. <laughs> That's a cool example. That's like chicken soup, I think. She made this for me one time when I was really ill. Oh, poor kid. It's the one thing I could eat without throwing up. Must have been around five. Just to remember the taste, the smell, and the day she made it. It was a phone call from India. Oh no. The cooker was whistling. Emma fed it to me, but I think she was upset about something. I wonder what it was. Oh, did, did maybe her mom pass away? And she'd never really gone back to anyways if I'm going to feature this recipe in the show I better cook it once she's drawing cute pictures nice I'll go pick those up first and we can start putting it together okay hi kitty Dude, you're cooking without the radio on. What are you doing? We need our tunes. Okay, so that's crumbly ingredients. Okay, so that's the paste, right? Is that water? Probably. Can't really read this, but thankfully there's a diagram. Looks like I have to mix the tamarind with water to extract its essence multiple times. Okay. So, mix. Could add more water directly to this bowl, but that might dilute the extracted water. I need to find the separate the extracted water. Okay. Uh, sieve on there. Do this. Okay, so that stays behind. So we do this, and we do this again. Okay. Boop. And mix. Boop. Sieve first. There you go. That's as much as I'm going to get. This means the time on rod is ready. Probably. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, there's some diagrams in this one. My time isn't the most fluent, so I might not be able to translate this fully. But maybe I can do it step by step. <laughs> I think I can make it a few of these words. Okay, toast both of the grains first. Question is, who's my grains? Let's figure out the missing parts. Yeah, I don't see any grains, buddy. Did I mistranslate something? Uh, maybe not grains, maybe means greens? Or curlies and chilies? No. 
shallots, tomatoes, garlic and ginger, cumin, mustard seeds, some powder. Mm. I start by toasting the spices. Okay. Uh, okay, it wasn't those two. Let's go in. Let's start with cumin. Hmm. Grains is like small bits. Yeah. It's not grains. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next, add red leaves and green chilies. Okay. I think that's the other way around, but fine. <laughs> there you go. That's the next step. Minced. Ha ha ha. Okay, the shallots look minced. So let's try that. And ginger garlic. Beep. It's usually around this time I'm as we waving away all the steam from the smoke detector. <laughs> just just poor cabin just like on a, on a like on a step stool waving at the smoke detector. <laughs> With a kitchen towel or something. What gives out water? First add ha 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 that creates water, then add water itself. Okay, that'd be tomatoes. And like that. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then the water. Only two ingredients left, so Okay, add rasp powder and salt to taste. Hmm. Emma was upset because of the phone call she got from home. Hi, Kitty. I think I remember now. Oh, she looks tired. I'm sorry, Appa. I'm sorry I'm not there. Mm. I thought she was getting old. I thought she was getting better. It's almost the end of the month, so I should be able to send you some more money soon. No, no, it's okay. Let me at least be of use this way. And back to cooking. <laughs> Can't read this part either, but there's not much to this. Just put everything in and cook it, I guess. Are you sure about that? Okay, water. Burn in chicken. Turmeric. Salt. Let. Don't forget the cooker weight. And boom. Hope it doesn't burn. Keep going. Okay. Take cocoa weight off. Take the lid off. <gasps> Looks so good. Chicken stock always has a golden color, but the turmeric is making it look extra nice. 
Should we even feature this in the show? It looks great. Why not? Some corporation is going to start smelling, <laughs> start selling an overpriced turmeric chicken stock after watching this. Probably. Okay, last step. Just have to mix these together. Rasam is usually water, but here it's fresh chicken stock instead. It's really cool. And now Chris will describe this to the team. An exotic take on a chicken soup made from a variety of spices and aromatics. Boy. Gross. <laughs> uh, okay, do we mix in the pan? There you go. And coriander. Ah, that looks great. A lot easier than I thought. Let's see if it tastes anything like that day. Oh, is that in the flashback, everyone? No, poor kid. Mama. Mama, why are you sad? Oh, kid. It's nothing. <laughs> kid, no, you didn't do anything wrong. Not at all. Hard from home. Your grandmother. Grandma loves her a lot. But sometimes people have to leave and go far away. And Amma will just miss her. Why is she leaving? It's natural, Kevin. Everyone leaves sometimes. Us too. It'll happen to everyone. I want no oh, kid. I would leave you, Amma or Appa. Back off, Chad. Or whatever your name is. Is Appa still in his phone? There you go, kid. Call your mother. Go on. <laughs> Call your mom. A humble porridge can taste sweeter than nectar when fed by the little hands of one's child. Thank you, Miss Bamba. Ah, oh, Bamba Miss. Oh, he's wearing his dad's old glasses. Okay. What are we doing first? Yeah, I told you I'm terrible at this. It's easy. Listen, it's all about temperature control. First, pour water on the stone to reduce the heat. Next, set the fire to the low setting. Pour the batter, and since the stone isn't hot, you can spread, or spread the batter easily. Add oil around the edges and turn up the heat. This will fry the batter and make it easy to flip once the edges are brown. Then it's done. Easy, right? Yeah, for you. <laughs> Another toaster coming up. You'll be fine. I'm the one who's going to mess up. Okay. Oops. Return low. Put batter on. Rotate. Okay, and then we put oil on the edges. There you go. And turn up the heat. Grab it off the second it's done. Go on, light up. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm just grabbing barehanded, like, yeah. Oh, should I, oh, should I add more batter? Grab hands? Or do I just need to wait? Oh, there's a spatula! Oh, I didn't see that! There you go. Bang! It's even called a dosa flipper. Cookie spoon. <laughs> it's cookie spoon time. Do I need to flip it again? Probably. Yes. I did it! Good job! Ready to try something harder? Oh no! Mother! Okay, I'm gonna have to go into the city next week and get some ingredients for dosa now. Yeah! It's been too long! We'll have them. Dosa will be a bit thicker this time so we can lay all the vegetables. <gasps> I did not remember the English word for cola for that. <laughs> all the toppings. Yeah. Not really, though. Okay, so. Water. Reduce heat. Batter. Rotate. Now the toppings. You have to add all of them. Actually, you can just add whatever you like. Make sure that G first. Okay. Okay, so that's on. Right, because we needed to flip the thing. Okay, what do we have with onion, carrots, green chilies? I'll add all of them. Delicious. There you go. Okay, up the heat. And flip. Really missing the Indian restaurant we went to often in the before times. Mm. Yeah, well done, kid. <gasps> Looks so good. See, I told you it's easy. I've made this in a while. This was your Alpa's favorite. Curry dosa is dosa with minced meat. Yes, exactly. We're doing it with mutton here, but you can also do it with chicken, beef, or whatever you like. Okie dokie. Okay, heat down. Batter. Just one food. Mm hmm. Like I was saying earlier, like I did have decent dinner, but oh boy. That the beat next is a coating followed by the actual curry and finish with the coriander. Okie dokie. Okay, first. Uh, the beaten eggs is coating. That's coriander last. Boop. Heat up. Carrots, and now I want to make actual food. <laughs> I wish it was that easy to flip them IRL. Yeah, like with that much toppings on. Like, even if the batter is pretty strong, like I imagine that gets wobbly. You're doing great. <laughs> You're doing great. He's making a mockery of your boy. You can start uh, your own dosa restaurant when you go back. I know, right? I could probably run the best one. Yes, you could. There were restaurants that could serve doses like this back there. You wouldn't have missed home so much and left, huh? You came here for more than just doses, Kevin. Yeah, of course. I was just joking. Oh. 
Oh, you start eating these. I'll make the rest and then join you. No, no, I'll do it. My boss, why are you googling masala dosa instead of doing emails? Listen. <laughs> Listen. Listen, boss person, we're hungry. Otherwise, they get cold before you can eat them. Mother. Oh, won't they get cold for you then? Ah, the dilemma. <laughs> Let me do it this one time. Let me have this one thing. There you go. <gasps> Fermented feelings. You can't just... Sounds just like me and Mama Bean. Uh-huh. Yep, sounds familiar. My mom like, oh, I'll get up and get that. And I'm like, no, you you stay. It's like, no. Oh. Mama Bean, go eat. I'll be at the table in a second. Me and Mom. <laughs> yeah. Like the way how my grandmother, like, just could not sit still, ever, driving both me and my mother up the wall, and now my mother starts doing the same thing, and I'm like, Mom, will you please, like, she was here for my birthday on Sunday, right? And I was like, Mother, will you please sit down, and I will fetch everything from my kitchen. <laughs> it's like, Mother... Uh, usually, usually what gets her to, like, sit down is like, Mother, who are you reminding yourself of right now? And she's like, oh. <laughs> Parents are just like that, I guess. Yeah, they are. Like, I'll be doing the same thing when I'm in my 60s. I have no illusions about that. Mom, please stop trying to organize my kitchen cupboards and Tupperware. <laughs> One's probably dangerous. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at least my mother, like... She lets me do all the kitchen cupboard organizing. Like she does not, she does not butt in there. She has butted out forever. Um, but yeah, like just oh, I'll I'll go fetch a knife for the for the cakes. Like no, mother, I will be doing that. But no, and I'll fetch the mugs for your coffee. Okie dokie. Have something to show you. Oh, kid, what have you got? <gasps> Did you fix it? Thomas recipe book. Did you fix the rest? Have you been using it? Wait, I didn't fix some of these. You fixed those too? Any words on some meal? This is great. Settle research for that show you're writing? No, I'm... Um, uh... Actually, I quit that job. Yeah, you tell him. Oh, hi. I... Okay, both of these are loaded. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't want him to have felt like a fraud. I don't want to put that on him. Like, I understand why, as a kid, he wanted to assimilate in order to not be bullied. Like, I couldn't write what they wanted. I can't just write about those as series and musicals. Our lives are more messy than that. And sometimes it's messy. Sometimes it has people like me. I've acted like being Samuel was inconvenient for me my whole life. But now I'm acting Samuel when it's convenient for me? And there's a job on the line? I couldn't deal with it. Yeah. Those feelings are differently once you're all grown up. Yeah. Yeah, because like... I mean, I'm, I'm on the flip side of that, right? Because my family's from France. And... Like, it wasn't always easy for, like, my grandma to, to get a job when she came uh, to Germany after the war. Um, but, like, my like my, my mother and my, my aunts, they all grew up bilingually. And, like, you know, when you say, oh, you know, like, my, my family's from France. Like, you know, people find that cool. You know, like, you might still get people being weird about it. Especially after the war. Uh, like, German-French relations weren't always easy. But generally, people think, like, you know, it's it's one of the... Uh, 
you know, like that thing where, you know, they treat you like the respectable immigrants, right? And then you hear them talking about, you know, immigrants from the other side of Germany, from the east. And it's vastly, vastly different. Like the way that especially like Slavic immigrants are treated in Germany is still shit. Obviously, like, you know, that's the way how like white people are, you know, xenophobic towards people equally as pasty as them. Plus the added racism of, you know, uh, uh, like Turkish, uh, Kurdish and African immigrants who live in Germany. Uh, so it's all just like one big mire. So, yeah, it's like there are some countries that are good and some that are bad. Uh huh. It's never easy to be an immigrant, but being white makes a hell of a difference in how you get treated. Yeah, and just especially in Europe, it matters a lot which nationality you have. The things people say to me about immigrants before they clock my accent, oof. Yeah, and even then, like, uh, like, you know, people I've, you know, people I've spoken to who, like, you know, they will say things about immigrants, and then, you know, I say that, like, I have, uh, you know, I have French ancestry, and my mother is first generation, uh, German, basically. Um, and then they still go on like about you know immigrants from Poland or uh, or the other like the other Baltic or Slavic countries because they expect you to have assimilated to such an extent that you hold the same prejudices, and it's like, dude, like you're talking to me about families that have had the exact same or very similar experiences to, to my family and you're expecting me to agree? Like, how? Like, all that's different is the, 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 the cardinal direction on the compass. It's like... Because they're just racist, but they frame it as anti-immigrant sentiment. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is the thing a lot of people will say all kinds of shit when they don't realize they're talking about you. Oh, but you're normal. Yeah. Like, France is cool. That sentence got a bit mangled, but you know what I mean. We know what you mean. And they're always like, oh, we didn't mean you. Like, hmm, what's the difference between me and the immigrants you did mean? Yeah. Mango pointing at himself, a very white looking Hispanic right here with none accent. Prejudices, yeah, that's it. It's almost like prejudice is part of cultural identity for some people. Oh, it, oh god. Like, just, it, I mean, Europe just runs on xenophobic prejudice. It's like, it's the DNA. Even like, it's like, uh, like how the how the UK has the north south south divide germany has a huge like west east divide like by dint of the wall carving the country in half for uh half a century and that's still there like you can just have like two people on opposite sides of the same fucking fence and they're being horrible to each other and it's like, wah! Like, you're both pasty. Not be much of an exaggeration to say prejudice is absolutely part of the British cultural identity. Uh-huh. German, too. But I doubt they'll want me to say that on the citizenship test. Probably not. It's the whole colonial past thing, at least in part, I think. Colonial present in plenty of cases. Yeah, all of, all of that plays into it. All of that plays into it. North and South aren't that green to each other either. None get along. No. No, we don't. A compass of fucktangular. It's that, really. How do we, how we divide ourselves? Yeah, it's, it's so fucking silly. 
Especially considering how small European countries are. <laughs> it's like... You're, you're living, like, compared to, like, how big the US is, for instance. Like, we're, we're living in, like, the area of a pincushion. And we've divided it in teeny tiny bits, and we'll fucking hate each other. It's like, how? How? As the great prophet DJ Crazy Time said, tell the world, stop the war. And he was right. I just need to sit at a large table with all the foods and be like, eat, be at peace, no war, when it's no longer hangry. Exactly. Dude, when I'm reading man, it's a long drive and it's an hour. <laughs> I mean, you, like, you tell someone from Germany that they have to drive somewhere for three hours and they're looking at you like, are you nuts? I'm not driving for three hours for somewhere where I don't have to go. I genuinely, I once made a girl in Canada cry by telling her that within, like, nine hours of driving, I would be two countries over. That poor girl just started crying. Like, goodness me. Please, I was at a table. If I was at a table of all the kinds of food, I would grab seven plates and talk to nobody. <laughs> Just eat in my corner crying about how good it is. <laughs> this is perfectly acceptable. Yeah. Join me in my asocial silence and food appreciation. Listen. The best table when you're eating anywhere is if everybody is quiet and just enjoying their food. I fucking love that. I don't need to be talking to anybody. Like, genuinely, some of the most satisfying meals with other people I've had were, like, when I worked at the agency and we would drive somewhere for, like, a pitch or a meeting or a workshop or something. And then we, like, we're driving back and we just got, like, burgers and chicken or whatever. And we're just sitting at the little plastic table and all of us just eating. Like, sometimes with three or four people and we were all just eating. And just... I like the quiet conversations over food. Food can be a social experience. Yes, absolutely. Like, we were, we were just talking, like, little bits. But we were all just, like, in this little space together. It's like, oh, we get to go home. Like, we did our workshop. We did our, we did our thing. We did our pitch, whatever. And now we're just having a sit after hours and hours of talking. And just having a sit and having a food. Yeah, and like we would have, like we would have lunch a lot together in the in the, in, uh, in the office kitchen, and sometimes we'd be like talking throughout the whole thing, and sometimes if we were all tired, like six people just sitting there quietly eating their food, and we'd all be fucking happy. One leg for eating. Yeah, in Europe you can drive for three hours and pass through three different countries. In Canada you can drive for three hours and just be three hours away from the city you started in. Yeah, that that's. <laughs> and like. I, like, I get why that overwhelmed her. But I was like, are you crying? She was like, yep. <laughs> Honestly, as someone not from there, I have the feeling that if not for colonialism, America would have, would have about as many countries as Europe. Possibly. Possibly. But if all the food is there, I just want to focus, discover. It would be an experience. Yeah. Sometimes it feels like it is, in positive and negative ways. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, like... I mean, the states, like... Like, the actual 50 states in themselves are also huge. Uh, like, Europe fits into Texas, I don't know how many times. So, like... In our understanding, it should... Like, it should... Or would be even more, like... Even more of a... Of a patchwork kilt, basically. Um, but yeah, like I, I would imagine that. <laughs> don't put, don't do that to Europe. Don't put it in Texas ever. Don't put anything in Texas ever. No, don't worry. We have no plans of airlifting. Um, we might, we might need some soil from you lot though to to buck up the Netherlands a bit because they're sinking into water. It's not good. So we, we need to either give them some more stilts or we need some soil to burrow under. Um, 
but like yeah like i mean even in, in the states such as they are like the cultural differences are huge I was born in Texas, I'm allowed to say this. I'm a food nerd. If I cook you something, I'll probably have stories and culture and history to tell you about. Yeah. And that that is that is an additional excellent 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 experience. My god, I can't talk. To be fair though, something is added to the discovery if someone can tell you about what you're discovering. This is true. That is very true. Then you're like then you're happily eating and listening. thinking more about like how the different native groups might have formed some uh, structures or maybe not I don't know oh okay I got you yeah perhaps fallen London the world west fallen Amsterdam <laughs> I love food stories food stories are great okay let's okay we've we've been, we've kept them waiting long enough let's let's keep going with game and he is being unfair to himself like, you were just a kid, dude. It's tough to navigate. <laughs> Flooded district expanded version. Oh, goodness me, yeah. I'm just a tourist. No, kid, you're not. And I wasn't there for you after Appa. Oh. And every time I wanted to apologize, I just felt too guilty to even face you. Okay, I understand. Always said you stayed in Canada for me. I know how much it must have hurt you to come back here. How much I must have hurt you. And Appa. It was so sudden. I always thought there would be time to tell him how much he inspires me. Even the stories he made up when I was a child and read them to me until I finally slept, he does remember! I'm gonna cry. My writing can't hold a candle to that. If I'm writing today, it's because of him. I'm still just trying to catch up. Kaga? Eee, there you go. Kaga. That's not why I came here. Didn't? I came here because that's what's best for me, and even though it hurt me, it's what's best for you. What do you mean? I loved living here. The people, my parents, my job, everything. Leaving India was necessary, but really hard. I felt bad for leaving. And I missed it so much that I wanted to raise you like we never left here. It must have been suffocating for you. After Pavilion. Well, coming back here and teaching all these kids has been great. If I had stayed there, I don't think I could have given you the space you needed. Thanks, Emma. How long are you staying for? I don't know. But this is nice. How about you? Do you think you'll ever come back to Canada? I don't know. But this is really nice. Hi, kitty baby. <gasps> that was Venba. Cute little story, yeah. Ah -hoo -hoo. Hi, Kitty. Good smelly little story, yeah. Oh gosh, the fields, yeah. 
sad and sweet and everything. Yeah. Dale Dietrich. Oh, it makes him scroll apart so much now. What was it? TikTok wizard. Awesome games. Hey, Ontario. And we're back at the beginning. <laughs> Abu. That was lovely. That was wonderful. What what an excellent Yeah, what an excellent game. And one that we could for once actually finish in one stream. <laughs> that doesn't happen very often, even with <laughs> short indie games. Okay, so I'm totally cooking so something th South Asian tomorrow. Yes. Yes, do it. Yes, cooking. I've got um I've got stuff for, for Ratatouille this weekend. So I mu I must wait, but I will I will look something up uh, for next week. Because it's also it's gonna be well relatively warm next week and eating something with spices is good for good for circulation. Yeah. But yeah. I'll make ratatouille in the in the oven. Um, and then I'll add uh, feta cheese and olives for the last for the last fifteen minutes because that's also very nice. I've got stuff for salads and guac, which does not fit the cravings. But next week I'll make uh, tabbouleh again. Yeah, everyone's making tasties. <gasps> that's so good. Yeah, kitty. How can I can add? Mm, I could add carrots to the ratatouille because I've got some of those left over. Donna doesn't like them. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't like carrots. No, you don't. But you're a kitty. You don't have to. Hmm. Has she tried them? I don't think she has. But she doesn't tend to try and steal out of my salads. <laughs> Hi, kitty baby. You go and have a nap. Yeah. Do you wanna go and have a nap? Do you wanna go and have a nap? Hi, honey. Yeah. Hi, kitty. Well. <laughs> I'm making noise under the desk. Wow. Well, this, that was a lovely little game. I shall I shall go and give it an excellent review on Steam. Um, and then Yeah, it's time it's time for a weekend. And then remember after this I'll be taking a stream break for the rest of the month. And I'll be back on September first with Mass Effect 3 and until then I will be using my Tuesdays and Fridays to make other stuff <laughs> stream break yeah break stream break yes it's stream break um, so I'll be I'll be on a little on a little stream vacation uh, but Disco Elysium episodes are still coming out ooh what you making I'll be making uh, a Dishonored essay uh, the video for it and I'll be editing the video for the Redfall essay because I want, I kind of want those two out of the house before the end of uh, August. Because then in the fall, I can focus on the outer worlds for pretty much the rest of the year. <laughs> so that's what I'll be doing. Also, uh, I finished the first draft of the Killer Frequency fic just before stream today. 
Um, like I sent Ria a screenshot like with just the end and a little bit of the sentences above that. Um, so I'll be giving that a good edit over the weekend and then I can start posting that next week and then there'll be weekly, 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 weekly installments of this. So yeah, don't worry. I'll still, I'll still be tap dancing all around. Yes, I was also shrieking then. Well, <laughs> excellent. Um, so I'll be around just not, just not for streaming. Treats for me. Yes. And also treats for me. I'm really looking forward to editing it. Like I've already gone into tinkering mode with some of the passages and I'm really looking forward to giving it a proper, a proper line edit. Throw a bouncy ball at you. I need to write more essays. Everyone throw things at me until I do. Yes. We are, we are throwing things. Hold on. What do I, what do I have got to throw? Well, I, I could throw the cat at you. I can throw you a scraggly toy mouse, if you'd like. <laughs> Hi, kitty. There you go. I'll let Donna eat it. Yes. Zan, write more essays. We need them. We need them. We need them. We need them. If anyone wants free OC art, yell. <laughs> throw in my love and encouragement. It's crab shaped. <laughs> time for crab. Yes, yeah, time for crab. <sighs> oh, Donna is playing with the mouse. There you go. And immediately tossed it off the desk. There you go. Oh, she's got it in her mouth and she's on no, she's on the floor. Okay. In a house I used to live, we kept a bunch of Ikea rats in the lounge to throw at people. I used to have a bunch of Ikea rats. I gave them to a friend. So they're they're not they're not with me anymore. But yes, they are in an excellent shape to throw because they, they've got like the, the bigger ones. And the smaller ones, so you can decide, like, you know, the, the egregiousness of the of the offense. You can decide which which size to lob. You can eat them by the tail, yeah. Oh, now I'm just thinking of rodents of unusual size. Well, goddammit. Are you okay over there? Yeah, you're fine. My mom has a plush rat she uses at Ren Fair to play hot potato with, but it's a plank rat. <laughs> That's great. Offense appropriate rats. Yeah, <laughs> it's a playground. <laughs> it's like and a playground for you. Oh no! I ran to grab neighbor's package and just <laughs> something something offense appropriate rats. <laughs> I got the rats from two different friends for my birthday once. Nice, they know me too well. Mm. Oh, Kitty, you're back. Are you done playing with mouse? Yeah, well, that's okay. Everyone loves to play a rousing round of black death at tea time. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. Hey, baby. Ma? 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 You've had dinner. Don't meow at me like that. Don't you sass me at this hour. You've had dinner. You've had a treat. Yeah, you've got kibble. Mm -hmm. Whoa, plague be upon your dog, JPEG. Yes. Yeah. Or that, like, that gif where someone coughs and then the plague doctors just look like, oh boy. Don't you sass me at this hour. <laughs> Hi, kitty baby. It was, it was real, like, uh, I've, I've watched the movie where that gif is from and I was like, hold on a minute. Because <laughs> it's like, you're, like it's, it's really shitty is he a monster hunter i can't even can't even fucking remember solomon kane i think and that's where that gif is from and i watched that and i was like you're shitting me <laughs> hi what okay donna has arrived at the stage where she's like why am i not getting little kisses on my little forehead all the time. Yep. Yeah, just making sure that my eyebrows are still there. Yeah. Or like the dancing rats painting. I don't. Do I remember the dancing rats painting? I'm not sure. Well. <gasps> yes, kitty baby. Yes, my child. Well. 
Ya, yeah, I think that's a that's a good spot to say good night. Thank you, everyone, for keeping me company as I did my best not to uh, mess up the recipes. <laughs> Uh, I hope everyone has a lovely weekend. I hope everyone has a lovely uh, rest of August. Um, yeah, have a good time, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. It's been fun as always. Good. I'm glad. Um, a lovely recipe time. Yeah. Uh, well, you'll, you'll hear from me in the meantime. Uh, I'll be on the Discord. Of course. And there'll be stuff. Uh, but yeah, we'll see each other again here with Mass Effect 3, if I remember what we were doing by then. And until then, vacation time! Bye! Say bye, kitty! <gasps> Say bye! Getting by